The worst wave of anti-Muslim hate, that's how the Council on American-Islamic Relations, or CARE, describes the year 2023. CARE received more than 8,000 complaints of anti-Muslim incidents last year, the highest ever in the organization's history. The group released its annual civil rights report today, and CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into the impact on our communities. Megan? Right, Joe and Erica, CARE, the largest Muslim advocacy group in the country, received more than 500 complaints in Illinois alone, and the complaints surged after the beginning of the war in Gaza. Nearly half of all complaints received in 2023 were reported in the final three months of the year after the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel. Since then, Israel has killed more than 31,000 Palestinians, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. And in a record-breaking year for anti-Muslim complaints, it speaks volumes that the murder of six-year-old Palestinian-American boy Wadi Al-Fayume, who was stabbed to death by his Plainfield landlord, who yelled, you Muslims must die. It was less worse to his mom. Mom, I'm fine. Made the cover of the Council on American-Islamic Relations' latest report, Fatal, the Resurgence of Anti-Muslim Hate. The heinous murder of the six-year-old child um, in Plainfield, Illinois, represents the, the point that U.S.-backed Israeli colonization of Palestinians trickles down into the lives of Palestinian Americans um, and Muslim Americans more broadly in the United States. UIC professor um, Nadine Neber, who's done extensive research on discrimination against Arab and Muslim Americans, was not shocked to see that case or another in Lombard on October 17th, in which a man named Larry York was arrested after reportedly threatening to shoot two Muslim men after shouting Islamophobic sentiments at them. Neber says the complaints CARE receives are just a fraction of the hate. Arab Americans and Muslim Americans tend not to report incidents of hate or racism uh, be out of fear um, of uh, repercussions and backlash. While the report applauds Illinois for establishing a Muslim American Heritage Month and for having a religious sports attire inclusion law on the books, nearly 9% of care bias reports involved colleges and universities, which is where Neber says Illinois could still do more. Palestinian, Arab, or Muslim students have faced harassment or attack on their campuses um, and reported those attacks. The landlord in the Plainfield case was charged with first degree murder, attempted murder, battery and hate crime charges. A hate crime charge was also brought against the suspect in Lombard. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. All right, Megan, thank you.